So I'm here today with my wife of a uh, hundred years, or how many years? Forty-eight. Forty-eight years. So we've been <laughs> through a lot of New Year's. So uh, today we're going to talk about what we did on our summer vacation. No, no. We're going to talk about <laughs> what we did Nothing. for New Year's Eve. Yeah, <laughs> what we did on our summer vacation. We didn't have one. I haven't had one. We're on a permanent vacation. So uh, last night we uh, we watched a movie and. Uh, Going back to 1975, when uh, I would probably drink, a, I know it, that night that we went to this party was about four blocks, five blocks away. You know, How so are you sure it's 1975? Because of where we lived, because we lived oh, in a Brock lot of Street. different places. Okay, Street. yeah, okay. So uh, it was a snowstorm. More than four blocks. And it was more than four blocks. And uh, I, I know I had a full 24 of beer, because I could drink a lot in those days. <clears> and, uh, well, I was drunk, of course. Thank and, God we didn't have a car. And we had to walk home, <laughs> and there was a snowstorm. So uh, we were walking down the street, and I think I fell over a couple times, maybe? Uh, yep, yeah, multiple times. You multiple fell times. face first into the snowbank. And didn't that, I think a cop went by at one point, didn't Well, it? that was when we got <laughs> to our house. It was a one-way street. That's a one-way story, because I sort of remember. Yeah, he doesn't remember, because slightly. he wasn't exactly with it. Yeah. We got to, we the went up our, our, our lane and it was a one-way street going uptown. Oh yeah. And there was, New Year's obviously, there's a lot of cops out going mm -hmm. around the Although area. Although there was a snowstorm still. <clears throat> and one went, I, we turned the corner to go up our steps. He had passed out right in front of the steps. And I'm over, holding over him, shaking him, trying to get him up. And the cop went by, didn't even stop, <laughs> didn't say, yeah. hey, do you need help? Just, it was a normal They saw New Year's. every corner, they saw Probably. somebody falling over. Nobody's and, dead yet, no. or we don't know. Well, we don't know. <clears throat> and then it proceeded uh, to try to get him up the stairs, because we lived on the it's, second it's floor. A long, it's a long story. Yeah, well, it was a long night. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I had last night. One of these. This is Blue Lobster pink lemonade. I think it's like 5%, 6% alcohol. Oh, was I got a buzz on with this. Nice not, local. Not really. And we watched a movie. <laughs> so we spent New Year's Eve watching singles, which is kind of weird because we've been married for 48 years. years. So. You don't know what it's like to be single. <laughs> yeah, so it was kind of weird watching. But this is a really good movie. I had it a long time ago on VHS and I found it in a bin for a dollar. So had to buy it and it's well worth saving. So what did you think of the movie Singles? I was actually uh, nicely surprised because I don't remember when we saw it no, at I first. I don't remember it either. <clears throat> Too many movies ago. Um, I was only single for a very short time. I was mm. 19 when I got married. Well, but uh, <clears throat> anyway. I was 22. What I liked about the movie was 21. the script was well written. and Cameron Crowe, by the way. And directed. And directed and he and also Almost Famous. I'm just throwing that in there as we go. And uh, there was a lot of people that became famous in this, or were, this was their younger versions of the characters. And what I liked about it was a lot of these movies that are sort of hip or showing a scene that are hip uh, at the time. This was Seattle in the early 90s, so grunge, obviously grunge it is, was right. a hip area. Everybody thought they Seattle, were yeah. so cool was that it didn't take it or the character serious, so serious that, you know, like, yeah. uh, they made fun of itself all to the way through. To a certain point. Yeah. yeah. Just, it kept the narrative and it was serious, but every so often they'd throw some kind of, some kind of jab in there. It, it made funny. you chuckle. It had a lot of fun. Yeah, it I was laughed. really funny. I laughed a few times. And Matt I, Damon, or Matt Damon, Matt, <laughs> Matt Dillon is... Uh, really great in this movie. Priceless, I really. I, that, I, I yeah, always classic. liked him anyways, but he, he's uh, like a, a musician and he's trying to write music. Delivering and, flowers. Yeah, he really, <laughs> he really can Didn't handle write them very music. well. And but. it's got Bridget Fonda and Campbell Scott. I wasn't too familiar with him. And Kira Sedgwick are and, the main characters. And they were, re they were really all Excellent. It was in well written. Yeah, it was well written, well acted. Cameron Crowe was. And uh, like I say, I like satire anytime I can get it, and I certainly yeah. wasn't expecting it in this one. And the music, I got the, I've always had this soundtrack, and this is a great soundtrack, one of the better soundtracks that you can get, other than Easy Rider maybe. And it's got uh, Allison Change was in a scene 
playing on the bar, and so was Soundgarden in another scene. So we have uh, members of Pearl Jam as the band that uh, Matt Damon was in. <laughs> I said it again. No. <laughs> Matt Dillon. Yeah. <laughs> Get your mat straight. Oh, God. Anyways. <laughs> and the soundtrack has uh, the Screaming Trees on it and uh, the Love Mongers, which is actually uh, Ann Wilson and, uh, and her sister... Uh, Heart sisters, uh, Anne and uh, Anne and Nancy's. Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> she's Jeez, a, Vanessa, where are you? Need some help. That's yes. That. Vanessa, With our daughter. She, and... she knows all this stuff. Or the people involved. <laughs> so, uh, all the songs in this are good. I'm not a big Pearl Jam fan, but there's a couple of really good songs on here. It fit the set the mood. Oh yeah, and it had. But I like it wasn't over. It didn't overpower. Didn't overdo it. it like overdo sometimes it. they were way in the background of yeah, the dialogue. The, you weren't struggling. The grunge to hear. thing wasn't in your face. Like yes, just because some it had people to don't be. like the word grunge, but I don't really care. Grunge, whatever, alternative, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Music of the time. Yeah, and, the and and all the music was good, and uh, yeah. and um, Chris Cornell was in it at, with Soundgarden, and also he made an appearance coming. He was in a scene briefly, so it, it was kind of a a little taste of Seattle. At that time, 1992, the movie was made. So these are the, uh, I've got both the soundtrack and the movie now. Used to have the movie, now the sound, I've always had the soundtrack, have them together. So this is like a little mini review. This is how we spent our uh, New Year's Eve on 2021. And only with the Go. dog, other than the us. dog. And the, she was asleep. She slept the whole time. She 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 just she does she's a total abstainer. She just lies there in her nice little round bed, comfortable. Mm. <laughs> she's a lab. So, uh, anyways, that's our review of uh, singles after you've been married for forty eight years. <laughs> <laughs> so long. Toodly do. Toodly do. She's in the car one day she said toodly do. So. <laughs> I might as well say it again. <laughs> All right. Two, uh, thumbs up, anyways. I give this movie a good 9 out of 10 for sure. What would you give it out of 10, say? 9 for sure. Yeah. Yep. I, it was really enjoyable. I'm going to keep it. It's going into the collection. I collect movies too, so this is going back into the collection. Although it was VHS, and I just, one day I just put all tons of VHSs in bags and gave them to a friend of ours. And said, yeah, sure, I'll take them. So uh, it's one way to get rid of them. That's got to do with anything, I don't know. <laughs> you might edit that out. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so long again. Happy New Year. <clears throat> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>